one offer. Only one offer was sent to us as we recently requested a transfer away from Swansea City. And now as things stand, we could be staying here in Swansea City. Although Valencia is a great team, I want something bigger and better. And right now, at this point in my career, we just aren't good enough yet. We're only a 79 overall, so the option was go to Valencia now or wait half a season, get our overall up, and move during the January transfer window. We could get on this flight right now and leave for Spain. And the option you guys voted for in the last episode was that you guys wanted us to stay at Swansea for at least half a season. So we will not be moving to Valencia. It was one of the closest votes I've ever had on my channel for anything we've ever done. It was like, I think 53% wanted us to stay at Swansea and 47% wanted us to leave for Valencia. Don't worry guys, we're only, like I said, most likely gonna be staying for half a season. Hopefully we can get our overall to maybe like an 82, 83, maybe even 84, who knows? But that's what I want to do, guys. I think it's the best option. That is what I would have chose, but it's what you guys voted for in the end as well. I know there's a lot of people who are probably going to be upset that we didn't go to Valencia, but the reason we're doing this is so that we can get better offers in the future. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I think this is the best option. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are you guys maybe upset? Did you want us to go to Valencia? Did you want us to stay at Swansea? Well, I guess uh, at this point, it really doesn't matter because we're going to be staying for at least half the season and then hopefully we can uh, get our overall up like i said and move on to a bigger team maybe we could end up going to spain but playing for like an atletico madrid or maybe we go to league one and uh play for a team i, I don't know such as leon like i said in the last episode uh teams like that there's so many great teams that we could get offers for in the january transfer window if we progress and uh start performing well this season so we left the airport and uh, as you can see we have made our way here to the stadium where we let the front office here at swansea we let them know that we were going to be staying for um yeah staying at swansea we weren't going to be accepting that transfer offer for valencia and of course all the front office the manager all my teammates were thrilled that i was going to be staying because i was one of the best players on our team for the first half of last season up in until that injury and uh here going in to a training session back at Swansea it feels good guys I think it's gonna be a good half season here with Swansea I think we can uh, challenge atop the table here and also challenge for the top score in the league I think if by the break we are the top score in the Premier League we'll be getting some really good offers as you guys can see we're expected to finish 15th in the table um don't really know what I think about that guys i definitely think we could do better than 15th but we will see and to start this season off the first game is going to be a home match against brighton it should be a good one so without further ado let's get into this is season number three of our career we started la galaxy we moved to swansea last season only playing half a season because of injury and now we're here for season number three with swansea once again Hopefully, it's going to be a good season. Hopefully, we can, uh, yeah, make some moves in this first half of the season. Again, like I said, leave in the second half of the season and then compete for a championship with whatever team we decide to move to in the second half of the season. That is the goal. Let me know what you guys think of that plan down below in the comment section. Leave a like if you're hyped for this series, guys. As you're watching this, I'm basically almost on break i am uh on exam week now if you guys know what that is i am a student in school which is why i don't upload every single day very busy i have a lot of stuff going on guys but my break is coming up very soon i plan to upload a lot when that happens guys uh maybe not every day we shall see though it just depends all how busy i am every time i have a chance to make a video i'm always trying to do it for you guys so don't think when i miss a few uploads here and there that it's uh because i just don't want to do it or whatnot it's just because i got a busy schedule hope you guys can understand that getting back into the action here guys a 14th minute check out that volley from myself i missed it then we come back again with another chance right here and i put it wide to misses right there within a matter of seconds from myself that first one a spectacular volley that would have been an insane goal had it gone in and then this one we shoot with our weak foot and it just goes wide 
that one kind of sucks. Um, yeah, more action though. This time for Brighton, they're on the ball looking to uh, find the back of the net right here. They nearly do with that chance. And then this one, 36 minute, I make a mistake and call for the ball right here. And it ends up at a Brighton's player's foot right there. He can't find the back of the net. I would have took full blame for that goal had it gone in. But as you can see, he shoots it just wide. We get a little bit lucky right there. Here, another chance as the first half is slowly coming to an end. Cross played in. And guys, we go one. Grab an assist by teammate gets a goal. And what a way to start this season out. What a cross played in right there. I believe that was Jordan Ayu right there who scored the goal. Yeah, it was Jordan Ayu. Puts that one in. Great goal right there. Great start of the game here. Ending off the first half strong. And again, good cross from myself. This is what we need to happen. We need to be getting assists getting goals so that our form can be as high as possible and our transfer value will increase we can get that overall up as well beautiful cross played in i mean that was put on a freaking platter right there for jordan ayu and then a nice header to finish things off in that top left hand corner no chance for the brighton keeper to save that one at all right there that's actually how this first half was going to end and we finish it strong guys can we start out this season Picking up three points here. Of course, last season we battled against the relegation in the final game. That's not where we want to be taking Swansea. We want Swansea to be at the top right here, guys. And we're starting things strong here in the season. And we weren't just going to settle for one goal. We were on the ball right here, beating defenders, starting this second half off, using our strength, using our pace, using our skill, leading to this. There you have it, boys. We put that one in, and we're going to finish this game out with a 2-0 victory, a goal, and an assist here. Wow, that is um just some insane stuff right there. What a way to start the season out. We get on the goal sheet, and we also get an assist, guys. Again, I really hope you guys are uh, are happy that we're staying at Swansea. I know there's going to be some people that were upset out there that we didn't move to Valencia. Of course, I would have loved to move, but there just weren't many options. I would have loved if uh, we had more options to choose from than just Valencia. But don't get me wrong, they're a great team, but I just wanted more options to choose from, and I think we're going to get that in the January transfer window. That will be coming soon enough, guys, and a 2-0 victory right here. And I, I'm thinking... Since it's a new season, maybe it's time for a new hairstyle. It seems like every time I change the hairstyle, you guys seem to hate it, and we end up going back to our original hairstyle. That's what we have now. I think we're going to change it to this one right here. It's a new hairstyle put into the game this season. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks pretty sweet on our boy Connor Wilson. Let me know down below in the comments. Should we keep this one or should we change it? I don't know. I think we're going to stick with this one for the time being. I really enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think, though. This series is all up to you guys. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. After that game, guys, just getting back into the swing of things here, I decided to go out and uh, play a little golf here, guys. Golf is one thing that I love to do because it's just so relaxing, gets your mind off all, all your worries and struggles and whatnot. So that's basically what we did here, guys. Hit up the links after practice the next day after, uh, yeah, after that game and uh, played a few holes. And it wasn't until we got on the golf course that we got a very, very strange phone call. I had no idea who this phone call was from. And then I answered and guys, it was a club on the phone looking for myself. This was a big club. You may know them. P S G. Now what they were telling me was completely confidential. They wanted me to head over to France, not tell anyone. And they wanted me to, to kind of just check out their facilities, all that they had to offer, because 
they were thinking about potentially putting in a transfer offer for me in the January transfer window. They saw my performance last season and they've been taking a look at me. They said they were ready to offer me this transfer window but they just didn't think the price is right. They didn't want to spend too much for me. They wanted to give me a little more time to see how I performed. So we ended up going over to France. Secretly though, we didn't want the media or Swansea to know. We headed over here and checked out all of uh, basically what they had to offer here. Their locker room, their training facilities. Let me just tell you, PSG, they have some nice stuff here, guys. And it's definitely a club I'm going to look into going to during the next transfer window. That is, if they put in an offer for me, guys. What do you think? Would we be a fit at PSG? I know they have players like Mbappe and Cavani at striker. But honestly, Cavani's getting old. He might be retiring soon. So it could be Connor Wilson and Mbappe running the show over at PSG. That could be a dynamic duo, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Should we consider going to PSG in the next transfer window? I think it could be a good fit. But again, like I've said already, this is your guys' series as much as it is mine. So we're going to be going wherever you guys want me to go. Let me know in the comments. Leave a like, 1,000 likes, and we'll have the next episode up ASAP. Thank you guys so much for your support, and we'll see you guys for another episode later on. Catch you then. Peace.